Today, 40% of Africans live in cities. By 2030, this number is expected to increase to 50% and 70% by 2050. This growth is met with rapid urbanization and increased demand for basic services, such as energy and water, that are essential for cities to operate. Today, it's estimated that 75% of Africa's energy consumption and related greenhouse gas emissions come from cities. It is also estimated that 75% of buildings that will stand in Africa in 2050 have not yet been built. Therefore, design of cities in Africa, where a lot of the world's development is expected to happen, is crucial to global sustainability. We need to fundamentally change the way we design our cities to minimize consumption of our limited resources. Here are some important sustainable design strategies to consider when designing neighborhoods. Provide adequate public space. 50% of space should be allocated to public spaces such as streets, roads, gardens, and parks. This supports a vibrant street life, reduces congestion, and encourages people to walk. Design mixed-use neighborhoods. Combine economic, administrative, and residential zones. This reduces the need to travel, provides closer public services, creates local jobs, and promotes local economies. Encourage a mixed social structure. Encourage social integration, diversity, and the need to live together. This reduces gated communities and slums in cities. 20 to 50% of residential space should be allocated to affordable housing. Design high-density neighborhoods. These ensure economy of scale and livability. This helps to deal with the urban sprawl and the high population growth we are seeing in our cities today. Design street patterns and networks that connect different parts of the city. This will ease access to goods and services, reduce congestion and improve mobility. Design compact blocks and buildings that support mixed use, street life and walkability. Design for pedestrian mobility and emphasize on walking distances. Walkable streets are a key measure to reduce congestion and reliance on cars. Walkable vibrant streets combined with mixed use, high density and social mix make proximity to work, home and services possible. Street design should provide for pedestrians and cyclist lanes to reduce reliance on cars and reduce our carbon footprint. Encourage shift from energy-intensive modes of transport, such as private cars, to walking and cycling and make public transport more attractive. Promote green transport, such as hybrid and electric cars.